Number 69, Engineering Application Letter A. A photovoltaic array of solar cells is 10% efficient in gathering solar energy and converting it into electricity. If the average intensity of sunlight on one day is 700 watts per meter square, what area should your array have to gather energy at the rate of 100 watts? Okay, so uh, first thing is they tell us the intensity of the sunlight, right? So we know the intensity of the sunlight is going to be equal to 700, 700 watts per meter squared. Okay, so basically what this means is that if you had a square meter, so this is not a perfect square, but just assume it is. If you had a perfect square meter here, the the maximum, we should say, um, we yeah, we could say that the maximum amount that the photovoltaic cell can absorb here would be 700 watts per meter squared. Okay, that would be the absolute max. Why? Well, this is the amount of intensity that the sunlight is producing, right? So over this area here, we can absorb a maximum of 700 watts of power, right? 700 watts. That should hopefully make sense. And that's where intensity comes from. It's just the amount of power supplied per area. All right. So that would be the case if they were 100% efficient, that whatever sunlight was uh, beaming down on this particular area, we'd be able to capture all of it. However, we're assuming that uh, the photovoltaic cell is 10% efficient. So what do you think that means? Well, that basically means now that in the same area, we're not going to be able to cover, we're not going to be able to, excuse me, capture, right, all of that power. We're going to be able, we're only going to be able to capture 10% of the power. So we only get 10% of the power. So how much power is then absorbed, basically, in the photovoltaic, excuse me, in the photovoltaic array um, over this area? Well, it's simply 70, right? I don't need, I don't think we need to do, right? You know, it's just 10% of 700. Multiply this by 0 0.1, all right? So that being the case now, what is the actual intensity that is being absorbed by the photovoltaic cell? Well, the actual intensity is going to be, I'll call it I sub A. The actual intensity is going to be the 700 watts, excuse me, 70 watts, divided by then the one square meter. Or in other words, the actual intensity is going to be 700, why do I keep doing that? 700 watts per meter squared. All right, that's the actual intensity. This was the max intensity. All right, hopefully that makes sense so far. So now that we know the actual amount of sunlight intensity that this photovoltaic array uh, can absorb, now we can find the area that we would need to gather then 100 watts in total. Okay, so now what I have is I have, I'm going to use the formula again. All right, so now I have my intensity, the actual intensity is 700. Excuse me, that's the third time. Three strikes you're out, Andrew. All right, so this is, uh, hopefully I don't do it again. The actual intensity uh, is going to be 70 all right. We then know the formula for intensity is simply power, right, over area. Now they're telling me the power that we need to capture. They said 100 watts. So if I know the actual intensity is 70 and the power that we need to capture is 100, I'm looking for the area over which or the size of the area that we need to set up basically to capture the 100 watts. So essentially, this just becomes a, a uh, division, right? It's 100 divided by 70. So the area is simply, I'm just going to move this up slightly. So the area simply becomes right, 10 over 7 or 100 over 70. So 1.43 or so. 1.43 meters squared. Okay? So even though right, the sunlight is being supplied basically at this particular uh, intensity, Right, we would need to only to even absorb 100 watts of uh, power. We would need a bigger square anyway. All right. So anyway, that takes care of that. Okay. So that's letter A. So let me just move this all over because I see there's a part B. So what is the maximum cost of the array if it must pay for itself in two years of operation, averaging 10 hours per day? Assume that it earns money at the rate of nine cents per kilowatt hour. All right. So first of all, um, all right. So first of all, I, I realize I mean, these problems get a little complicated because the units are all over the place. Uh, but what we have to do is we're we have to think about first thing. Let's think about the uh, 
it's operating 10 hours per day, right? This thing, okay? That means that only 10 of the hours we're going to be able to absorb any type of uh, power. Now, if it's operating for 10 hours a day and it operates for two years, how many hours in total would that be? Let's ask that question, okay? So you, sometimes it's good to start breaking this up into mini questions. So how many, many hours is over, is it, is it operating over uh, two years? Now, not, not what's the total number of hours in two years, but if it's operating 10 hours per day, right, how much is that per year, okay? So uh, essentially what we need to do is basically convert the value per day. So it's operating 10 hours per day, right? So let's write that down. So it's going to be 10 hours per single day, okay? Now what I'd like to do is somehow I have to be left with hours. So I know my hours is have to go into, uh, my hours should be in the numerator. So I'm probably on the right track. So now what I need to do is convert this maybe from day to year, okay? So day on the top, year on the bottom, we know that there's about 365 days in a year. Now notice the days would cancel and this would leave me with hours per year. So this, when I do this calculation, this is telling me how many hours of operation there would be per year. But I don't wanna know it per year, I wanna know it over two years, right? So basically all I need to do now do is then multiply that thing by two. Notice the years would cancel and now I'm left with hours. All right, so this is simply 10 multiplied by 365 multiplied by two. So this is approximately 7,300 7, hours of operation, okay? So this is the total amount of time it's gonna be operating. Now, how much does it cost to operate, okay? So the question is now, how much does it cost to operate? So how much, so basically if it operates, if it operates 73, hundred hours over two years and it costs they said nine cents per kilowatt right so it said now nine I'm going to convert that into just dollars for now okay so that's 0 0.09 dollars per one kilowatt hour uh, how much how much does this cost over 70, basically over two years, right? Which would be equivalent to 7,300 hours over the two years. Okay, so how do we set this up now? Well, I think you might have an idea. Let me just erase this, all right? Hope you guys are having a good day today. A little chilly over here, unseasonably chilly, but it's a good day to do physics, right? All right. So basically now what I can do is I can, I realize that I have hour here and hour here and wait a minute, can I just cancel them? And basically yes, right? If we were to do the multiplication here, we can simply do 0 0.09 dollars per one, per one kilowatt hour. And we're now going to take that and multiply it by 7,300 hours. So notice they're going to cancel, right? So now, let's see. So this is going to be 0 0.9, 0 0.09, excuse me, multiplied by 7,300. And what do we get? We get about $657, right? $657, okay? Now this, we have to be careful, all right? I should say, this is really, if it operates, how much does it cost? Uh, how much does this cost over two years per, I really should be saying per kilowatt, okay? So per kilowatt, it's going to basically cost this amount, right? $657 per one kilowatt. So this is basically per kilowatt, right? But I don't want to know that, I don't want to know kilowatt, I just want to know dollars. How much does it cost? So I got to get rid of this kilowatt somehow, right? So basically notice now what they gave us. They told us now that the energy that's being, uh, absorbed basically is at a rate of 100 watts. So now what I can basically do is I can get rid of the kilowatts by multiplying this by, first let me convert it out of kilowatts. So watts on the bottom, one kilowatt is a thousand watts, right? And then multiplying this now by the number of watts that was given, 100 watts. 
So notice these units cancel, and what are we left with now? We're left with just the dollars, right? So this is 657 divided by 1,000 times 100. It's going to be equal to 65.7. So this is going to be $65.7, all right? And uh, that that's the maximum cost. That's what you would pay. All right. So, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And if it helped at all, also hit, hit the like button and tell your friends. All right. We appreciate it very much. Take care.